Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot Perik Shishi Daf Lamed Chet Amud Aleph Chapter Six Page Thirty Eight A. Just going to start from uh, the last few words on the last page. Rabbi Oda Omer, Rabbi Oda says, Maseha Machlipin Aleha, the manner in which it is made indicates what it is. Asa'an, if you made them, now at the top of Lamed Chet Aleph, if you made them Ka'avin in the shape of bread rolls, Chayavin, they are subject to Chala Kelimudin in the shape of simple boards, Peturim, they are exempt from Chala. Amalei Abayi Le Rav Yosef, Abayi said to Rav Yosef, Hai kuva ta'ara, this kuva is made made in the ground. Maim abachina ilavei, what blessing do we say upon it? Amalei, Rav Yosef said back to him, Mi sevrat nahamahu, do you really think it is actually bread? Guvla ba'amahu, it is merely a baked dough. Um abachin ilavei borei minem azonot, and we recite on it, borei minem azonot. Mazutra kavase udate ilave. Mazutra established his meal around kuva, made in the ground. Uverach ilave hamotilech min haaretz veshalash brachot. And recited on it the blessing hamotilech min haaretz. And then did the three blessings of Birkana was on afterwards. Amar mar bar Rav Ashi, mar bar Rav Ashi said, Adam yotze bahen yedecho vatavra pesach. And a person can fulfill with them, that is their kuva bread, his obligation to eat matzah on Pesach. My tamar, what's the reason? Lechem oni karinan be. We can apply to it the designation bread of poverty. Amar bar Rav Ashi, Amar bar Rav Ashi said, Hai dusha de tamre, this date honey, Mivachin ilave shakoni ebidvaro. We recite upon it the blessing, shakoni ebidvaro. My tama, what's the reason? Ze ah, the amahu, it is mere sweat, that is moisture that exudes from the fruit as opposed to the fruit itself. Kaman, in accord, who's this in accordance with? Ki hai tana, it is in accordance with this tana, that is Rabbi Yoshua. Um, Ditnan, for we learned in a Mishnah, Devash, Tmarim Veyein, Tpuchim, Vechometz, Sifvaniot. Date honey, or apple cider, or vinegar of late season grapes, Ushar, Me Perot, or any other fruit juice, Shel Truma, of Truma, Rabbi Eliezer, Mechayev, Karen, Vechomesh. Rabbi Eliezer obligates the principal plus a fifth. The Rabbi Yoshua Boter, while Rabbi Yoshua exempts him from payment. Ama lehahu me Rabbanan le Rava, one of the rabbis, said to Rava, Trima Mahu, what is the law about Trima? Lo hava adaite de rava mai kamale. Rav did not understand what his disciple was saying to him, what he meant by trima. Yativ Ravina kame de rava. Ravina was sitting here before rava. Amale said to him, De shum shame ka amrat. Is trima of sesame. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, de kurtame ka amat, or is it trima of saffron that you're talking about? Oh, de fortane ka amat, or grape pits that you're talking about? Ad haki vahaki aske rava ladate. In the meantime, rava called to mind uh, what he was talking about, the trima. Amale, rava said to him, Shilta vadai ka amat, surely you're talking about something crushed. Ve'ad karatan miltahad ama rav asi, rav asi, and you have reminded me of something that Rav Asi said. Hai tamre shel truma, these dates of truma, mutar la asot mehen truma, it is permitted to take truma from them. Ve'asul la asot mehen shechar, but it is forbidden to make beer from them. And the law is, for dates, and he made them into trimmer, we recite on them the blessing, 
my tama, what's the reason? Bimil tayehu kaime ke kid me ikara, they remain in their state as they were originally before being made into trimmer. Shtita, <clears throat> what's the blessing on shtita? Shtita is a dish made from the flour of kernels. I assume that means corn kernels that were toasted while still moist. That's what Rashi says. Such flour remains sweet and is mixed with oil, water, and salt to form shatita. Rav Amashakol Niyabidvaro. Rav says that Shakol Niyabidvaro Ushmol Amar Boremi Nemezanot. But Shmol says Boremi Nemezanot. Amar Rav Chista. Rav Chista said. They do not disagree. Haba Ava, this is with thick shatita. Habaraka, sorry. Habaraka, this is with regard to loose shatita. Ach Ava leachila avdela, thick shatita is made for eating. Raka lirfua ka avdela, and loose shatita is made for therapeutic purposes. <coughs> So if it's consumed as medicine, then shakol is recited. Even though ha'etz is said on in anigaron, which is drunk for therapeutic purposes, anigaron is different because it is a beverage also drunk by healthy people. And it's uncommon for healthy people to drink loose shatita. Mativ Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef challenged, Veshavin shebo chashin et hashatut veshavat, that they agree that we may stir the loose shat, uh, shatut on on Shabbos. Veshotin zitom hamitri, and we may drink the Egyptian zitom on Shabbos. Vei salkadatach lirufua ka mechaven. Now, if it should enter your mind that one intends it for, therape uh, for therapeutic purposes, refua veshavat mishare is a therapeutic procedure on Shabbos permitted. Just going to scroll down. So we are at uh, Amar Le Abaye, which is uh, on the screen. It's about seven lines down from the top in the middle. Amar Le Abaye, and on the page, it's about halfway down in the middle. <coughs> Amalei Abaye Abaye said to Rabbi Yosef, "Faat lo tisbara, and do you not hold um, that that is lushatita is permitted on Shabbos?" Vahat nam, why we have learned in a Mishnah, "Kol achli nochel adam lirfu al b'Shabbat." A person may eat all foods for therapeutic purposes on the Shabbat. V'chol amash kin shote, and he may drink all beverages for, therape for therapeutic purposes on Shabbos. Ela ma itlach lemeima, rather, what is there? For you to say, Gavra lachila kam mechavein. The person intends for eating as opposed to therapy. Hacha nami gavra lachila ka mechavein. Here too, um, lushatita, the person intends for eating as opposed to therapy. Lish nakrina in a different version. Elama it lach lameima, rather, what is there for you to say? Gavra la achila ka mechaven urfua mimela ka hav havya. The person intends for eating and the therapeutic effect occurs automatically. Hachanami la achila ka mechaven urfua mimela ka havya. Here too, the person intends for eating and the therapeutic effect occurs automatically. Utricha de Rav and Rav Shmuel. Uh, the blessing for Shatita is necessary. De i mehai, for were I on the basis of this Baraisa, Hava Amina would have said, Le achila ka mechaven urfa mimela ka havya. The person intends to um, eat it for purposes, uh, to, to ingest it for purposes of eating, and the therapeutic, therapeutic effect occurs automatically. Aval hacha, but here, Kevan Dilchatzchila Lirfuaka Mechaven. Since to begin with, he intends 
for therapeutic purposes. Lo levarech ilave klal. He should not recite and recite a blessing on it at all. Kemash malan. Rav informs us. Kevan de itle hana amine bae bruche. Since he derives pleasure from it, he must recite a blessing. Sheal hapat hu omer hamoti vechule. And on bread, one says hamoti lechem in haaret. What does one say when eating bread? Rabbi Nechemia Omer, Rabbi Nechemia says, That is without the hay. So one's Hamoti and one's Moti. Ama Rava Rava said, Bamoti Kule Amalo Pligeid Apik Mashma with regard to Moti. All agree it connotes that he has brought forth. In the past tense, Dichtiv el motziam mimitraim for it's written, God the one who brings them forth from Egypt. Ki plige regarding what do they disagree? Baha motzi regarding ha motzi, Rabbanan sabre the rabbis hold ha motzi de apikmash ma ha motzi connotes he has brought forth. Dichtiv ha motzi lecha. Maim mitzur hachalamish. For it's written, the one who brings forth for you water from the rock of flint. The Rabbi Nehemiah Sabab, Rabbi Nehemiah hold. Hamoti de mapik mashma. Hamoti connotes that he brings forth. Shne mar. Hamoti echem mitachat. Sivlot mitraim, as it's stated. The one who brings you forth commanded the burdens of Egypt. Where Abanan and the rabbis. Hahu hachi kama lehu kutra bihu l'Israel. In that verse, this is what the Holy One blessed you see, saying to the Israelites, Kad mapik nalechu, when I take you out of Egypt, avid nalechu milta, I will perform for you miracles or things, ki hechi diadito, so that you will know, da'ana hu da'apekit yatchon mimitraim, that I'm the one who took you out of Egypt, dichtiv bidatem ki ania Hashem elokeche, and you will know that I'm Hashem, your God, the one who brings you forth. Mishtabchin lay Rabbanan the Rabbi Zera et bar Rav Zvid Achucha de Rabbi Shimon bar Rav Zvid. The rabbi is praised to Rabbi Zera, the son of Rav Zvid, the brother of Rabbi Shimon, the son of Rav Zvid. The Adam Gadol who uvaki. Bivrachot hu, that he's a great man and an expert in blessings. Amalehem, Rabbi Zera said to them, Lich sheyavo liyadchem havi uhu liyadi. When he comes to you, bring him to me. Zim nechada ikla legabe. One time he visited Rabbi Zera. Apiku le rifta. They brought out bread for him. Patach v'amamoti began saying, uh, moti, as opposed to hamoti, amar, Rabbi Zera remarked, zehu she'omrim alav de adam gadol hu uvaki bivrachot hu. This is about this is the one about whom they say that he's a great man and expert in blessings. Bishlama i amar hamoti. It would have been well if he had said hamoti. I'll just finish this. Ashmi, uh, actually, no, I.